boy Shira Seven. I'm back. Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a video. Um, so I've noticed that a lot of ladies are asking tips on how to do this, 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 and that. You know, a lot of you guys, um, and a lot of you guys are asking me, how do you do this? How do you meet guys? How do you do this? I'm married. I don't meet guys. You know, so but I've been there and done that. And there's lots of ladies that follow me. I'm sorry, I hurt my daughter. And they know all the ways. I know all the ways, but I've been there and done that. Um, so there are lots of ways, but the main focus is basically fake it till you make it, dress for the job you want, go to the places where you want to be you know you like I always say go out of your area that's the best way explore out of your area if you don't feel ready to explore out of your area get ready you know you can't just wake up one morning and say hey I'm gonna go on that side of town feel comfortable and pick up some rich dude you gotta it, you gotta build up to that if you're not ready you know what I'm saying so hair makeup, clothing, speech, how you carry yourself, you know, things like that. Make sure that's all in order before you go and do what you need to do. Um, a lot of guys are in the comments sometimes and they laugh because and they're not laughing per se at you individually. They're just laughing at how some of these ladies are looking in their profile pictures and they're saying, oh, I want to get this type of man. And the men are actually judging you on your look, on your looks. Like, you ain't gonna get no man, look at you in your profile picture, you know? And they will tell that to the women in my comments. But some of the times you have to actually go and check out these ladies' profiles and look and, and you know, if that's what you represent yourself as online and these men are attacking your looks and you're wanting to upgrade your lifestyle, you know, that might be a troll that might be someone who is mean but you also have to kind of listen to what they said you know sometimes you got to upgrade to upgrade you got to upgrade yourself to upgrade your lifestyle so if you're looking busted and stuff like that then you really need to focus on yourself for a while get that in order and then try to move on to the next level okay I'm just saying that because it is what it is um and someone posted this um, video in a group where this transgender woman, flawless, okay? And makeup done, hair done, you know, nails, just beautiful woman, beautiful trans woman. And I'm like, if a man can turn himself into a beautiful woman, you have no excuse and I have said this so many times and y'all some of y'all still running around here looking crazy okay and I'm not saying I'm not saying that natural beauty is a beautiful I'm just saying you have a lot of competition okay and you have a lot of competition now you even have to compete with men <laughs> you know and so <laughs> you have to do something to put yourself on a higher level um, you know, image wise, if you want to upgrade your lifestyle. So even, you know, some people can focus only on their body and some people will focus up here. Some people will focus on both, whatever you need to focus on, focus on that and work on it until you get to comfortable to a comfortable place where you're okay to go out with confidence. You know what I'm saying? Because there are some, um, a lot of people don't see what other people see when they look at them, you know. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying things about me. And I see those flaws in myself daily. It doesn't mean I'm not working on them, you know. So, um, and I don't even see them as flaws, you know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just all depends on how I feel that day, you know. Um, but there are, there are so many products out there in the store to help you. You know, there's makeup, you know, I'm gonna, like this is, I have to buy this stuff all the time. Like this is a monthly thing for me, makeup, you know, 
I run out quick, I gotta buy some more. I run out, I gotta buy some more. It's not cheap to look good, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Men have no idea how expensive products are. Okay, the lipstick that I have on. Okay, if y'all watch my beauty channel, y'all got that. This is this is a $20 lipstick, $20 right here. Okay, lipstick, 20. Um, there's some stuff you can buy cheap, some you can buy expensive. You know, face powder. I need to look at the price on this. I just picked it up because I know I need it. Let me see how much this stuff costs. Hmm. $56. Oh, wait. Hold on. $32. $32. This is 56. 0.56 ounces. Okay. So this is $32 for powder. Okay. And then we have, what's this? Foundation, contour. How much is this? $42. Okay. This is monthly, like you know. And I, I went and went cheap because I was at Target on the mascara, but I still have expensive mascara that I'm not out of. I just have two sets, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. So it it costs money to look decent. So instead of paying, you know, instead of splurging on other things, splurge on things to make you look good. You don't have to buy expensive products. You can buy cheap products and just put extra of it on. You know, it's it's it doesn't cost that much. You can watch YouTube videos on how to do your makeup, how to do your hair. I know I'm looking crazy right now, like a mom, but um, <laughs> that's what I was doing, momming today. But you got to put effort into yourself before people will put effort and attention towards you. Okay, um, you can't just wake up and so uh, one of my uh, favorite people in the group, Bobby this you can't just wake up and shake your wig shake your wig out and put it on um and just look i'm ready you know you can't do all that you you, you got to take time for yourself you got if, if you don't put effort into yourself no one else is okay if if you look like you're well put together well groomed you know that you care about yourself you put a lot of effort into how you dress you know your clothing your shoes your hair your makeup people are gonna treat you accordingly but if you look like you just rolled out the bed they're gonna treat you just like that okay and I, I made a video similar to that before but it's very important how you present yourself and how you treat yourself people can tell if you love yourself or not they can tell you know and they'll they'll treat you like you treat yourself if you don't love yourself they're not gonna give you the time of day unless it's to get over on you or use you up okay you ever wonder why a lot of these guys marry certain women and then cheat on them with other women? It's because at the end of the day, they know that that woman will let them cheat on them because they don't love themselves and they don't look good. They don't take care of themselves. So they're lucky to be with this sort of man. And meanwhile, he'll tell her, oh, you look good natural. You look good with nothing on you. You're good. But every time someone walks by that looks a little bit better or is a little bit well, you know, well dressed, makeup, hair, they're all googly eyed and tongue sticking out. Why? Because that's what they're really attracted to. Okay. So you can't go for what somebody says. You got to go for what they look at and what you realize that they're attracted to. Okay. So I know plenty of guys who married the plain, you know, homely looking woman and cheats on her with everything else okay because a she allows him to cheat because she can't she feels like she can't do any better b he looks better than her and c she don't love herself so i hope none of you ladies are that kind of woman and if you are and you're you know and you've left that situation it's time for a makeover inside and out you know you gotta make sure you look and feel your best every time you walk out of the house. I don't care if it's just to run to the store or to the mailbox, okay? Invest in yourself, okay? I don't have any regular flip-flops. All my flip-flops are nice. They're sandals, you know, um, good brands, you know, well, um, uh, the latest style, you know. You got to keep yourself up, even if you have to go thrift shopping or use coupons or whatever you got to do. Um, keep yourself up. You know, a lot of the ladies in my group have noticed how 
much more in lives you know their lives have improved because they stop walking out the house looking raggedy you know they meet people um, people will pay attention to them that wouldn't have paid attention to them you know on a normal basis so remember that you know I see too many women out here looking crazy I saw this lady in the well, I don't even know what store it was my daughter pointed her out in some emoji pajamas this lady who's about 40 something years old and some emoji pajamas and my daughter was like what is that like I don't know <laughs> but you know you can't do that stuff you're not in college you're not a child stop leaving the house with pajamas on you know stop leaving the house looking raggedy and stained clothes you're too old for that okay no man is going to respect that I don't care if it's just to run to the store you got a clean shirt you know I'm tired of seeing a lot of people well in my area they can't do that they don't do that you know uh, everybody goes to the grocery store nicely dressed nice clothes you know not sweats either nice stuff because they're like the nice area you that's what you see you go to the bad area and you gonna see all kind of crazy stuff dress for the job you want even if you live in a bad area don't go to your grocery store ghetto you know go there dress nice dress dress nicely in fact go to a different grocery store outside of your area that way you get a feel for it you know uh, how where you want to be how nice this store is how nice the shopping is look at all the people who um, took care of themselves to come to the store you know get into that frequency get into that vibration of wanting better and doing better and that's all you're going to be able to stand in the future you know you're not going to allow yourself to talk to guys who don't have it together you're not going to allow yourself to go out on a date with someone who wants you to pay you're not going to allow yourself that because you've tasted and you've seen what you deserve and once you've done that you're never going to go back you're not going to turn back no one ever has no one has ever had the good life and turn back and say oh i want this bad life unless they were stupid okay and then they always regret it anyway don't sit there and let your life pass you by life is short life is very short okay a lot of these ladies that I've talked to they're some of them are older than me or at least around my age and they sound like they're 21 by the way that they think okay and it's because they don't know any better no one ever taught them any better and I feel like my videos will help them but they also have to help themselves you know I feel like you gotta put in the work I didn't wake up I don't look like this for real like you know I have a, I have a lot of makeup I'm, I, I'll tell you I have a lot of makeup this is not how I look naturally um but this is how I want to look so I make myself look this way and it's not like I'm the most beautiful woman in the world but if I treat myself that way, then so will men, you know? You might not be the most beautiful thing in the world, but if you treat yourself that way, other people will treat you that way as well. So it's all about how you treat yourself and what you want. A lot of women don't know what they want. Ask yourself, what do I want? And go from there, you know? I don't want to work. I don't want someone to fully take care of me. I want to be happy. I want to look good, feel good, and live life to the fullest and I can't do that you know doing certain things dating certain people living in a certain area and working myself you know to death I can't you can't do it you can't do that with doing all those things so you have to figure out how to get out of it you know a lot of women figure it out a lot of women don't because they go by what society says you're supposed to do oh you're supposed to only marry for love people do not marry for love until the last what 60 years everybody married for status wealth to combine families or to combine wealth it was not about love up until recently okay it just it wasn't I don't know where that like dating and being in a relationship and having a flame and being in love with, with your teenage lover or your young lover and then you know when you marry you marry for lifestyle and comfort. If those two happen to be the same, love and comfort and lifestyle, great. If not, make the make the smart decision, okay? Because you can't eat love, you can't live off of love, 
and love don't pay the bills okay so if you have to make a choice make the right choice don't settle for struggle love um, unless you like struggle no one likes struggle okay nobody doesn't make you a good person it doesn't make you a stronger person it just makes you a struggling person that's all it makes you it makes you prematurely age it makes you have too much stress it wears your body down you get sick faster okay so struggling is not cute I know all a lot of women who will brag oh well I did this by myself I was like, okay well that's nothing to brag about because I did I didn't do none of this somebody else did it for me that sounds better to me than somebody saying I did this all by myself you know okay well you paid all these bills by yourself you worked you did this or that but I have more than you have and I didn't do any of it so which one is the fool you know um, and I'm not saying it's foolish because you have to struggle I'm, I'm saying it's foolish if you choose to struggle you know um, just because you feel like it makes you a better stronger person that's that's a man's job he's supposed to be the strong one you're supposed to reap what the benefits of his labor you know you're not supposed to go out and do his job if you go out and do his job, then you don't need him and he don't need you. You're not his muse. You're not his inspiration to go get out and work. You know? So remember that a lot of independent women end up alone because the man feels useless around them. And the woman usually emasculates that man. You know, I may make a lot of money, but my husband will never know how much money I make. I'm a, he's going to pay for everything. I'm going to need him to do everything and that's just going to be it because I'm not designed or created to work like a man. That's just it. I'm not. And I never will try to and I never want to and I, and I teach my kids. You know, if you can't date anyone or you shouldn't date anyone that's not equal or above you. I said I wouldn't even do equal. You know, I would do above. <laughs> so just just a little bit just a little bit of advice I'm not going to go on forever but um, I'm probably going to do more live videos y'all seem to like those a lot better and I'm going to keep this one short and I'll see y'all on the next one thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think and I'll see y'all later